Hello and welcome once again to the Tech Explorers channel. So this is a follow-up video on the previous one where we talked about registration of a TIN, one of the new requirements of Upwork, okay? So um, here in less than five hours, as opposed to the 10 days that I mentioned in the previous video, I will send a mail, okay, um, stating that my TIN has been generated, all right? So right here, I have my TIN number. All I need to do, according to the mail, if I want to download the certificate, I could just go through the link shown right here, and then a click on the link will lead me to the website, which is where I can download my certificate if I want to, all right? And to do that, I just need to fill in these two spaces, that is the date of birth, okay, which I used when I was registering for the TIN. And then I could, for ease, I could just choose registration number. That is the number I supplied when I was registering the TIN. And once I'm able to put in these two information, I should be able to get my certificate, okay, downloaded. So I'll show you what a copy of the certificate looks like when it's downloaded. But before we go into that, once you supply the necessary information that is needed, uh, this is what you should be getting on your screen, all right? Everything that concerns your TIN. So you can go ahead and then download the certificate if you want to, okay? Just put in your email address here and then click on the print to download and a copy will be sent hopefully to your email address. Once this is gotten, the next thing you want to quickly do is to head over to your Upwork account, all right? And to do that, you just simply go to your Upwork.com, and here we are, right on our Upwork platform, signed into our account. What you want to quickly do is to head over to your settings, and to navigate to your settings, you need to click on your profile picture here, and click on the profile picture will give you a drop down and then click on settings, all right? Um, a couple of questions will be asked, okay, to uh, your security questions and of course your password. So give me a moment to fill this in. All right, so once you put in your password as requested, this is the page you should be seeing as your settings page. This is the back end, the engine room of your Upwork account. So what you wanna quickly do is to head over to the section on the right, and click on tax information. Once you click on tax information, you would be given some sections to fill out, okay? Which is a section that concerns the form that we need to impute our TIN, all right? So you need to scroll down so that you could see exactly what is needed to be filled out. So here I am on the W8BEN form, the tax form, all right? Now what I want to quickly do is to make sure that every information supplied here is accurate, all right? Very accurate. So I'll click on this icon, this pencil icon, just on the same row with the W8BEN, all right? I click on the pencil icon and it opens up this section for me to fill out the form. All right, so I want to take my time to read through every detail so that I do not make a single mistake. So the first question here says, to collect the right information, indicate if you are a U.S. person. Of course, I am not a U.S. person, so I will click on the first option which says, I am not a U.S. person. All right, and once I choose that, I have other options to fill out. The first one is asking me for my legal name of taxpayer. All right, this should be the exact name which you supplied when you're registering for your TIN, all right? So you put in your name, and then you put in your federal tax classification. In our case, it is individual. Of course, if you have registered as an agency on Upwork, you want to make sure that this is changed to the agency or the corporation or the partnership, or whatever it is. But in my case, it is an individual um, classification, all right? So um, the next thing is your date of birth according to how you supplied it when you were registering for your TIN. So make sure the information tally, okay? Make sure the information tally so that you do not make any mistake. And then um, after that, you want to scroll up 
to fill out other necessary information that concerns this tax form. So after scrolling up, the next thing we are seeing here is our date of birth according to how it was filled out and then the country of citizenship. Since you have said that you are not a US citizen, then you must provide what country you are working on Upwork from, all right? Once that is all provided, you want to click on save so that all the information are saved. And then you move on to the next, which is the tax identification number. This is where the in thing is, all right? This is where you supply the number that you had generated from the uh, J, JB, uh, JBT uh, website. So you head over to this pencil icon again, and then you click on it. Once you click on it, it opens up. All right. And here you put in the tax identification number in this section here, which is a TIN that you generated. And then a scroll further down you would need to provide some other information, such as your signature. And your signature in this case just has to be your full name. All right, the same way it appears on that certificate that you downloaded previously. All right, um, once you do that, the, the dates should pop up ordinarily, and then you can tick on this section, this box section here, and then scroll further down to enter your full name again. And once that is done, you click on save. So um, I'll be taking some moment right now to just fill that out and then click on the save button. So having filled in all the required information, all I need to do next is to click on save. And once that is saved, everything is set. And then I am done with all that is required of me. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching and hope this video was helpful. Do not forget to click on the thumbs up button if you find this video helpful so that you could um, make it reach out to other people. And also subscribe to the channel so that when content like this drop on this channel, you could always be notified. Thank you for joining.